One thing that I dislike about DaVinci Resolve is having to go into the project settings, change the resolution, change the resizing and the color management and doing this for every single project that I open up. So today I'm going to show you how to establish new default project settings in DaVinci Resolve and how to create some presets. Now, if you don't know what I'm talking about, let's jump into DaVinci Resolve in a new project over here. And the first step before we start cutting, color grading or adding some music is going into this little gear at the bottom right corner to open up our project settings. Now, as you can see, by default, DaVinci Resolve opens up our project with a full HD resolution. And well, I always change it into 4K because I'm editing 4K. So I always change these values over here. If you're editing maybe for shorts or for Instagram Reels or TikTok, you would likely always change and check this mark over here to change the resolution into vertical. You can change the resizing. And one thing that I always change is the color management just to make sure that DaVinci Resolve is creating a fidelity of colors when I'm editing and when I'm exporting. So right now we're gonna change it once and then we're gonna establish these settings as default settings. So every time we boot up DaVinci Resolve, it opens up with the settings that we select right now. And this video is gonna be useful for any of you guys who edits videos in a very similar manner, very constantly. For example, myself, I edit tutorials every single day and all my tutorials have exactly the same project settings in terms of resolution and in color management. So right here, first of all, you're gonna select all the settings that you want to change. In my case, it's just resolution and the color management. And then I'm gonna show you how to save these. Okay, once you have all the settings that you want and all these tabs, now you're going to go into this drop down menu at the top right corner and you're going to select set current settings as default preset. Then you're going to select update. I know it's a very simple thing, but for some reason, a lot of you guys and also myself didn't know that option existed. It's right there in front of our eyes, but we didn't see it. Now, what happens if you have several formats of videos that you export constantly? For example, this format that we just created is for horizontal video. What happens if you also export vertical video? So what we can do is create some presets. So as an example, let's say that I want to create two different presets, one for horizontal videos and one for vertical videos. So right here, let's save these settings as horizontal. And for that, we can go again into the drop down menu and select save current settings as a preset. Here, I'm gonna name it and then select okay. And now you're gonna see that over here, if we select the drop down menu again, you will have horizontal settings as well. And here we can select load, update, delete or export. Now let's create a vertical resolution. For example, if we create uh, some shorts or some TikToks, we're going to select this little box over here and we we'll say select saves just to make sure here we have our vertical video. And now I'm going to save these settings as another preset. And now, as you can see in the drop down menu, we have our preset selected and now we can quickly switch between one of these and between the other and we can create as many presets as we want and all the settings that we added for example color management are going to be included in these settings yes i know guys it's a very simple video but hopefully it helps you out just one next step to do before you start editing just a bit of quality of life i know that some of you guys asked me in the comment section in particular in the videos of color management how to not have to go through all those settings before you start editing and this is exactly the way now if you want to watch more tutorials on video editing check out the playlist that's appearing right here on screen if you want to support me check out my shop my preset and lot shop over here hopefully something over there helps you out to edit in a faster manner i'm tony fuentes chito of you and i'll see you in the next one